Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Lords of Shulama. We're on episode 60, and we are in the burnt down village of Nagira, if I recall correctly, and I do. So we are going to wander around looking for some corpses. We're all healthy, wealthy, and wise. I think we're well rested. Our food situation's okay. Three days, not super fantastic, but it's okay. Looks like there are some mushrooms and things to be had here, and maybe a dead person or two to be robbed. I mean, totally recovering just random stuff because they're, you know, they can't do it themselves. Uh, we should be able to deal with that fairly simplistically. Um, I'm seeing there's not a whole lot left of anyone here. A lot of dead bodies over here. I mean, just pretty bad. Ooh, a terror bird sounds probably bad. It says it's easy. We'll see. A lot of times they lie to me and they say things are easy and they're not even sort of a little bit easy. Alright, so stunned on most of the people, but not the end of the world. Hopefully he doesn't do that again. Okay, good. He has a single attack. Oh, but we were wounded. Super fun. Super fantastic! Fantastico! And we are having a real hard time hitting this guy as well. It's not great. Alright, what are we looking at here? Eh, a little bit of damage. Ah, we'll do some flames. I realize it's not our highest damaging skill, but it's okay. We'll make it work. Alright, why don't we throw out our Aura of Healing, and we'll fire a couple more arrows at people, and then we'll utilize our PowerPoint regaining ability, and I don't know how the wounds are going to affect him. I imagine eventually it's going to start wearing on him. Man, we are just very unfortunate when it comes to landing these attacks. It just doesn't seem to want to work for us in any way, shape, or form. We miss a lot. But so does he, so I suppose it's not that bad. Alright, a couple more attacks and we should have it... Say three more attacks? Or two if we crit, maybe? I, I don't know. Is Kalar going to be able to land? He finally hit! And then we missed again. Alright, there it is, folks. There it is. Victory is ours. We found an egg that restores 60 health points. That's not bad. Or hit points if you prefer. All right, let us continue. Ooh, we got three hours. Yeah, a giant chicken we just killed. Yeah, that's going to feed us for a while. Any other giant animals want to come and feed us by dying against our blades and or spells, arrows, whatever it is that we're using at the time. Well, it does appear that there is a lot of nothing out here. I suppose we could take a look at a map. I'm waiting to be jumped again as well. How many things are out here? A great number of enemies. A great number of enemies. But we found the, the burnt village of Nagira. So that's got to be something. I think we had a mission to do this, in fact. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Hello, giant bird of death. Apparent, uh, apparently, you want us to kill you. We can totally oblige. Yay for missing! He stole food from us. That is not cool. He also stole food from us. All right, well, we're gonna. Ooh, big old nasty hit there. What? Well, have Kimira attack him, and the other guy ran off with our food. The the cad, the fiend, the swine. Yeah, it is what it is. All right. Well, he's hurt and bleeding. This guy's stunned and critically hit, and probably relatively dead. Just saying. Yep, yeah, he's he's not just dead, he's super dead. But we still lost like 0.3 hours of food or days of food. It's not great. That's definitely not great. That is not what we were hoping to see or have happen. We have a cure wounds potion. Well, isn't that convenient? Because we actually have somebody who has wounds. That potion will be very useful to us. There it is. Bam, no more wounds. Ooh, what is this? Is this what I think it is? It looks like a witch's hut. Oh, yep, there's the bird. Alright, well, we found the other witch's hut. Unfortunately, we're not quite ready to go to the other place we were at before. That also had a witch's hut. Wow, mushrooms grew right out of that guy's sternum. It's not great, man. you got to take better care of yourself. You have mushrooms growing out of your chest. I mean, probably some seriously bad juju gumbo went down. Alright, let's kill the bird. We must slay the bird and have giant chicken bird dinner thing with stuff. I don't know. Whatever. 
All right, so we've landed one attack so far. He's landed one attack as well, but his hit everybody. Ours only hit him, which I guess he is technically everybody in this situation. So pretty similar situation to where we were before. All right, what are we looking at? The fireball. 30 mana cost. And icy shards. 30. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Take it, man. Take it. Do a little bit of a healy heal there. The bird's going to do its little thing once again, and then we'll just continue to beat on it, slowly killing it until it is no longer alive. Which pretty much just means slowly killing it, because, I mean, once it's dead, it's no longer alive, right? I mean, it seems kind of simplistic, but yet people would get confused by that. I'm just saying. They could very easily get confused. Alright, I say three more hits, or one more hit at this point. Why not even? The bleed. The bleed is real. The bleed is real. What also is real, in case you guys were unaware, the aura of healing is actually quite real, and so is light healing. And there it is. Shiny Bob hurting a little bit on the mana supply, but that's okay. We'll make it up. We'll make it up. Um, hmm. I see a lot of corpses, and I see a lot of stuff. I don't see a lot of ways to do things, though. Well, we'll be jumped by some random encounters soon enough. I'm sure of it. It's going to be awful. Hey, there's a random chest over here. Sweet. I mean, no, that's awful. We just stole a random... Nah, it's fine. We just stole randomly from a stranger that we had no idea. Anything... Oh, two of these... And I'm just gonna avoid it. 70% chance, that's pretty good. Alright, well, I see nothing there. It looks like we're gonna have to continue to go around. There's burning trees. Oh, this is all on fire as well. Is there a way around this side? Don't think so, maybe. There's a pass through the trees. I don't... I, uh, I'm sort of doubting it, but maybe over here. Kind of looks like I'm not correct. Okay, well, we'll go back into town. I'm sure we'll get jumped. Yeah, we're going to use that again. Uh, I guess we walk over the fire. That actually hurt way more than I expected. Like, a lot more. We could have done uh, the spell, something about dying flames. Well, let's, let's take a look at that, shall we? Well, I think it's probably a good idea to use it at this point. Um... End of Flames. Yeah, probably the a better course of action. So let's rest until everybody's healed up. Because that went so phenomenally well for us. And let us continue to loot. It looks like we have a, scroll, a Song of Stunning. And something that's unidentified, along with some cash monies. Some cash monies loots. Take it. I, I'll definitely take it. I don't know if anybody else will. They might be like... We think you're irreprehensible for... Irreprehensible? Don't you mean reprehensible? I, I don't know. I'm just saying things I've heard on TV. It's totally fine. Alright, dude. Whatever. Hey. Hey. You think all that armor and all those weapons, they pay for themselves? No. No. We have to take money when and where we can. The people in the village, all dead. They don't need the money anymore. So why do you have a problem with this? Why is there a qualm going on in your mind? What is your problem? Hadouken! Oh, he ran away. He stole 200 monies from me and then ran. Not okay. This dude just jacked me with some food. Uh-uh. No. Alright, you two should probably run. Or stay and die. I mean, I mean, stay and just chill. Chill? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Really? Ooh, he stole a cloak. That's not okay, man. You know what I do to people who steal cloaks? That. Thank you. Still, got robbed of 200 bones. Not cool. Not cool. Alright, well, in the end... Hmm, I guess we pretty much covered most of this place, except for this fight right here. So, let's get into it. Yeah, we'll just get into it. It's going to be a little bit challenging, a little bit menacing, but, I mean, we fought this before. It shouldn't be that bad. We're going to start off with hopefully landing our first attack. And we did it! We are heroes, ladies and gentlemen. We are truly one-of-a-kind superheroes. 
All right, Gelden's like, hey, I can land attacks too. Poisons, bleeds, doesn't matter. I'm all about it. And then that happened, but it's okay. Why? Because we have this. Boom! All right, the fire is real. All right, 35 with the wounds. Another big hit. He hasn't moved yet. I'm very surprised by this. He's going to hit us pretty hard, probably cause many, many bleeds. Eh, not that bad, actually. A little bit of wounding action, and then there's some stunning, of course, which isn't great. So I guess the first guy that missed his stun really set them back pretty far. All right, just going to land on him, and maybe with one more, one more shot we can take him out. I'm just going to use Blizzard. He's still alive? Really? Really? Now I feel bad, because... I could have killed him with, like, any other spell. Alright, well, we'll do the healing aura of death. We'll, I guess, focus fire this guy down? I mean, they're these guys, without the heavy armor on, they're not anywhere near as j deadly or challenging as the ones with, but they're still a nuisance. They can still do some damage. You know, they still hurt. It's not a freebie auto win. Oh, that would have been fun there. Alright, let's kill you. That way the other one moves. Alright, let's see here. Shannon Bob. Yeah, we'll do that. Get you some power points back up. And if I had to guess, I would say... Bzz. Yeah, it's real, guys. It's real. Alright, Galen says good day to you, and then we start focus firing on you, and you should be done, and indeed you are, and oh no, that actually hit, that's kind of funny. Bonk, should have actually done something different there, but it's okay. In the end, we were victorious once again, and we can explore a little bit further along. There doesn't seem to be anything here, except mushrooms and various herbs and things. Alright, some unidentified stuff, okay. suppose we'll take it, and apparently we ran away before it was ready for us to. Which is mildly impressive. And I think this is the, yeah, Lonwell's amulet. That is exactly what we were looking for, so that was for the quest. I'm not sure what we do from here, though. The witch is clearly down off in the side, and... We probably should figure out a way to slay her, but I don't know that that's a thing that we can do, necessarily. Hmm. I don't see a path through the woods to get to her. Oh, maybe right there. Oh, and yeah, we're going to try to avoid it again, and we did. Excellent. And yeah, our path through the woods right there, not really working. Well... We need to get there somehow. There's got to be some way to do it, so... I'm going to keep poking and prodding my way and see if I can't find... Huh. I thought for sure there would be a way over there. Let's take a look at the overall map here. Maybe over on this side? I doubt it, though. It looks like there's a pass right through there. At least down, around, and over. But well, we were over there, and come on, guys. We were over there, and that was just not working. Like, we were right here, right? This is where the pass was, basically. Oh, it's actually up a little bit further. Alright. So, like, here, right? This is where the pass was? Yeah, so... It says there's a path right through here, through the trees, but I am not seeing it, guys. So, I think that is a falsehood. I think that is a lie. I don't believe there was anything there. Not sure what to do at this point, guys. I mean, ugh, come on, guys. Leave me alone. I didn't want to fight right now. I'm busy on exploratory duties. And I would prefer to stay on those duties until I was finished. We are running out of food rather rapidly, but we've explored this. We can always go back to the town, turn it in. I think we might even level up from it. And then maybe we'll just break off the episode there. And then I'll go on a food run between then and now, and we'll see where that takes us. We have a tower of vision, but the the vision is not super great. The vision of the tower is quite demolished at this point, and that's not good. So I guess as much as I was anticipating, hoping, and pretty excited about being able to go further in this area, because it seemed like we were at the right place finally, I think that we are no longer there. 
I think that the right place is not here, and we're going to have to go back to town and turn in. Fine, we'll fight one of the birds on our way out. We'll turn in the amulet, and we'll maybe level up with a few folks, and then we'll continue on from there. I think I'm going to burn spells and stuff on this guy, too. I just want to kill him off and get him out of the way. Well, with some people. Some people don't have spells. Good old Envenomed Strike. Are right, we going to go with the giant lightning bolt of death? Which is, of course, sweet and sweet and nice. Yes. Just going to bonk him. Alright, and what do we have left? A rock arrow. Rock arrow of death! No, alright. That's where you hear like the stuff on the uh, guitar. It's good. Sweet, sweet, nice. Alright, there we go, guys. Uh, there we have it. It is all done and good. I have the fan off, by the way, folks. I listened to one of the recordings. It was pretty... It was pretty bad. I don't know if there's anything I can do to make it less bad, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. I, I realize it's gonna... It's gonna be picked up. I think I, I still haven't gotten the windscreen to go over the microphone. So, I think once I have that... Maybe it'll block out some of the ambient sounds in the room, and we'll make things a little less sensitive, maybe? That's my hope. And if it does do that, I'll be pretty happy. Sure, we'll fight some wasps. Why not? There is a small problem. We don't have a lot of magic available on a good old bumpy. So the easy, sure-fired way of killing off these fools is actually kind of gone at this point. So that's bad. 61%. Ooh, we hit. We did not kill. That is not good. Alright, well, we'll just have to sit here and take the multiple wasp stings. Wow, they quickly struck us. That is quite the ruckus. Nope. And... Aha! Got one. Alright, we're going to go with that. And there is some more wonderful poison stacks up on our folks. And, well, Bumpy still can do this. Boom. Alright, so the big major nasty guy that can stack up a billion poison is now officially dead. And we just dropped another one. And another one. And Galen won't be able to do anything to this one because he's too far away. So we're going to have to defend ourselves against hopefully not dying to poison. And boom, there it is. What? Victory! So, yeah, I think uh, when we go to pick up our, mi our, our microphone, our, our new air conditioner thing for the room, I will probably stop in at the place where I got my microphone stand and see if they do have a windscreen for me to put on the microphone. And hopefully that will help drown out, dullify, mollify, whatever the Welcome, noises. Welcome once more to the Half Moon Inn. Yes, I would like to rest for eight hours. I feel so revitalized. It is a wonderful and sweet, sweet, nice. The bonus to uh, summer, and if the air conditioner does work and it keeps the room cool, is I will be able to keep the window closed, which means those wretched little children outside will not be heard. Well, at least at not loudly. Board. I have looked at the job board. I want to look at it again. Lonwell's amulet. <gasps> Who knew? That's exactly why we're here. All right, there it is. Sorry, there are no more requests from the villagers of Kunavarn. Well, it is what it is, my friend. It is what it is, but we have completed all of your things, and we are good to go. All right, so we're pretty close to leveling up with Chimera. Mutana's pretty close. Kalark's really, really close. Take care. So we're right on, right on track to level. It's been about 19 minutes in. I don't believe there's any food to be had here. Oh, there is. There is. There's two trees that have food. I thought we'd check this one, but maybe it respawned while we were walking around doing stuff. Or while we were asleep. That is possible, too. It must have been while we were sleeping. Alright, folks. At this point, I'm not sure exactly where I need to head, but... We're probably going to leave the village. Uh, well, I suppose we can do some buying, Greetings. selling, and other various things. Can't we? We can do that. We have a bunch of unidentified stuff. So, let's identify it. Alright, identify a ruby magic necklace and a sapphire breeze necklace. And then wasn't there a bunch of scrolls? Yeah, unidentified scrolls. Divine Prayer 2. Well, I say a bunch, I mean some. Icy Shards 1, and what is this? Song of Speech. 
La 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 la, four score and seven years ago. No? Okay. It's funny, guys. See you soon. Not that kind of speech, no? Alright. It is simply what it is. Alright, folks, between this episode and the next, I will go stock up one more time on giant quantities of food, and we will take a look at our world map right now, and I am not sure, maybe we'll go play around in Geldra and see if we can't find anything up there. I'm pretty sure the ice and the cold there hurts us a little bit, but maybe that's where we need to be. And then, I don't know how to get to this place. It looks like we have to enter it from Vilak, which I don't know if that's a good idea either. Oh well, we'll figure it out one way or another, folks. Until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.